Thanks for clicking on the video forecast here at CoinLocal6.com. Boy, we had a great Wednesday around here. Now we're headed into Wednesday night and the clouds are increasing. Maybe you saw that happen. It's linked to this rainmaker, which comes right on over the top of us as we get going with our Thursday. It is a very wet start, what I like to call a SOG fest. I don't know if you've ever heard me use that term, but. Tomorrow morning when you look out, or Thursday morning when you look out, say, say to yourself, Sogfest, will ya? All right, here's what's going on. Maybe a little bit of rain Wednesday evening, clipping the coast. Cloudy inland and milder than we have been. Here we go, Thursday morning, 5 a.m. And look at this. It's a wet start to the early morning commute. The rain continues during commute time. By midday, or maybe even late morning, the back edge of the rain moves through, and we switch to showers mode. Now, as this happens, I think it's going to get a bit breezy, Temporarily, so we may have some temporarily gusty winds as the storm front moves through, and then we kind of dry out for the rest of the day. Looking ahead to Friday now, it'll be wet at times as more moisture rolls in, and maybe some of those showers will be downpours. And then as we make our way to Saturday, I'm growing a little concerned about the Grand Floral Parade forecast because look at this. This is noon, so the parade's underway. It's been underway for a couple of hours, and showers are starting to fire up. At 10 a.m., it may still be dry, but I be, had to keep a chance of showers in the forecast. Uh, now, I want to talk about something that happened along the Oregon coast this week, and maybe you saw our live reports on it on Coin Local 6. The Japan tsunami debris, a confirmed dock from Japan that landed near Newport. Now, here's Japan, here's Hawaii, and here's Washington and Oregon. And the question is where's the rest of the debris? Where's most of it right now? Well, the best researchers can do is say it's probably somewhere north. Or northeast of Hawaii, so somewhere hundreds of miles still from the Oregon coast. But what we also know is that some debris is way out ahead. Well, why does some get ahead and some stays in the pack, some breaks up? Well, there's so many complicating factors. Of course, the lighter items or those that float on the surface the most can usually get pushed along the fastest. The tallest items, same thing. But there are other factors to consider on timing tsunami debris and why it is so hard to do. Some debris actually breaks apart and changes shape and speed during its journey. Some debris will get caught by storms, and in particular parts of storms, maybe it'll get pushed off course a little bit. And some debris can actually get caught and will get caught in strong Pacific currents. Some of them are more circular fashions, almost like a, you know something called a gigantic whirlpool that could take that debris on a loop for years before it finally gets spit out and comes our direction. So all of these factors make it just incredibly difficult to time out the arrival of all the debris. But we know it started, and there's a lot more to come. That much we know. All right, the Grand Floral Parade, 10 a.m., 51 degrees on Saturday morning, partly cloudy with a chance of showers, and maybe that chance increases as we go through the parade morning. What about our Thursday, though? We've got a ways to go to the weekend. Wet and breezy at 8 a.m. It's going to be breezy with showers at lunchtime. And isolated showers, I think increasing sun, really, and a nice finish to the day. Not too bad, huh? 63. 62 on Friday with rain at times. And just cannot totally dry out Saturday. I hope I can do that before the weekend, but as of now, I can't. Thanks for checking your forecast right here at coinlocal6.com. And have a great day.